Good morning once again children. Good, Good morning, morning teacher. You really have been a wonderful set of students and I have enjoyed being with you. You learn so fast. Whatever I tell you imbibe so nicely. So far we have discussed various tenses and their usage. As we discussed at the outset, uh, I think in the first episode I had told you this, unlike Indian languages, in English tense and time are different. Do you remember? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. And some argue that English has no future tense. However, there are different kinds of expression of futurity where we can tell a future tense which is denoted in a sentence. Just listen to these examples and take them down. Raju is flying to Delhi next week. Now this is in future and it is a plan. The shop opens at 10 o'clock. Probability. The shops will be closed tomorrow. Certainty. Will you drive me to airport? A request. The dead devils will be playing against deck and chargers tomorrow. Volition. See you tomorrow. It's hope. He is bound to lose his job. State of affair. But all these sentences have told you something which is going to happen in near future. So students, there are many ways of expression of future happening. They may be simple probability, expectation, volition, plan or certain degree of certainty and so on. How to master them teacher? How did you learn all these in your mother tongue? Naturally teacher. Yes, we do not learn all these things formally in our mother tongue because we all live in a lively environment. We imbibe naturally. Teacher, we don't have conducive environment to learn English. Then what to do? Good question, Pavan. We have to create such situations ourselves. Comparing to old days, now you are blessed with many resources. You have TVs, cell phones, newspapers, smartphone applications. You have to tap such resources. Start with reading newspaper. Watch TV news. I suggest that you stick to one channel as they differ in pronunciation, intonation, stress. I suggest Durdarshan English News. It reflects Indian situation and standard pronunciation. As I said the other day, make a habit of reading English newspaper daily. You can read, review and reread, avoiding to your own speed. Now let us practice conjugation with different verbs. But your examples should be all in three forms, namely assertive, question and negative. Go in sequence. I sharpen my pencil. Do I sharpen my pencil? I do not sharpen my pencil. I am drawing a beautiful picture. Am I drawing a beautiful picture? I am not drawing a beautiful picture. I have wove a sweater. Have I wove a sweater? I have not wove a sweater. My mother has been cooking since this morning. My mother has been cooking since this morning. My mother has not been cooking since this morning. I think uh, Sindhura and Renuka should repeat their sentences and Sindhura that word is woven. Say the word. Woven. Okay. And Renuka, you missed the second type that was interrogative. Okay, Renuka. Okay, teacher. I have woven a sweater. Have I woven a sweater? I have not woven a sweater. My mother has been cooking since this morning. Has my mother been cooking since this morning? My mother has not been cooking since this morning. They won the match. Did they win the match? They did not win the match. 
Yes, very good. So all five of you have given me different sentences telling me about the future. You were enjoying the match on TV yesterday morning. Were you enjoying the match yesterday on TV? You were not enjoying the match yesterday on TV. Nehru had lived in Anand Bhavan for 30 years ever since he was born. Had Nehru lived in Anand Bhavan ever since he was born? Nehru had not lived in Anand Bhavan for 30 years. My grandpa has been working all his youth. Mom, had my grandpa been working all his youth? My grandpa had not been working all his youth. I am going to dance in my school fest. Right, Renuka. You have given an example of future reference. But we are practicing to conjugate verbs. So you had better give examples on the lives of yesterday. We usually use will, shall. I will dance in my school fest. Will I dance in my school fest? Yes, a very nice example. Now, Nirvachana? I will be competing with Renuka in the school fest next Tuesday. Oh, you are in tough competition, Renuka. I will be competing with Renuka in school fest. Now, I will not be competing with Renu. I started saving rupees 100 every month. By the end of the year, I will have saved rupees 1200. Will have I saved rupees 1200 by the end of year? I will not have saved rupees 1200 by the end of the year. By next November, I will have been teaching for 30 years. Will I have been teaching for 30 years by the next November? I will not have been teaching for 30 years by next November. Okay, relax. Now listen to this rhyme. This is a nursery rhyme and you must have uh, learnt it when you were small. Do you know it? Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping, Brother John? Do you know it? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. So will all of you sing this? But sing it in a very nice way. Okay, I'll just say the first line and you repeat. And then we'll sing together. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping, Brother John? Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping, Brother John? Morning bells are ringing. Morning bells are ringing. Ding dong dong. Ding dong dong. Are you brushing? Are you brushing, Brother John? Mommy is calling. Mommy is calling. Please come soon. Please come soon. Are you eating? Are you eating? Brother John, Brother John, the school bus is coming. The school bus is coming. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Children, I think this was a very refreshing nursery rhyme. Let us stop at this refreshing note. See you. In the next episode, next time. Thank you, children. Thank you, teacher.